Yes, we are. I'll just refresh us, see if we can find us. Might take a few goes. Who's ready to make our lovely bowl cozies? We have an array lined up here. I've not, not that I've been practicing at all. Oh no, with all her beautiful, yes, beautiful ones. Beautiful samples. Yes. So our one that we're making today is this big and it fits a regular cereal bowl in. Yes. Perfect size for a cereal bowl. I know everybody can have different size bowls. Absolutely. You know, but yes. this is the but, one we're going to be doing yes. today. This one was a, started off with a 10 inch square and it's okay. It's a bit snug, bit isn't snug. it? Yeah. A bit snug. So then I thought, what about a pasta dish? Yeah. So we might have seen the picture of this one because that was me in my kitchen. So this one did fit a nice pasta bowl in. So it, it is a bit trial and error. Yeah. But a regular, that was a nice, uh, cheap 50p <laughs> supermarket <laughs> yeah. bowl. Good for your apple yeah. crumble. Yes. <laughs> so the point of these is, so when you've, when you've nuked your pudding yeah. and you want to go and sit in the front room. Yes. Then you put your dish in here and you don't have burning hot hands. Yes. Or... If you know you want a nice lazy breakfast, you go and make your <laughs> porridge in your breakfast in your in your bowl. Take it back up to bed with your brew. Yeah, yeah. And you don't have because it's no, you don't pay your porridge hands. bowls are yeah. boiling out there. Or like us, we nuke our dinner every day. We don't do we? nuke our dinners. We, yeah. We, there's always a queue for microwave, and whoever yeah. gets in there first, you yeah. Know? <laughs> Eats the dinner it's, before it's the last one's fast. even started, especially if it's me. Yeah. <laughs> so these are perfect for us because we normally end up having to put our dishes on a plate yeah. to bring them to upstairs. To bring them up because it's to, too hot. Yeah, because it's too hot. So yes. if you nuke your dinner at work, perfect. And they are reversible. Yes, even better. Don't look at this one too much because I did quick mop this one up this morning so it's not very well ironed. <laughs> so if you did slop, you could turn it round for the following day yeah. <laughs> you before you need it. to wash it. <laughs> The one thing, obviously, you can't put these in the microwave. No. Uh, if you wanted to put them in the microwave, you'd need to use uh, all 100% cotton thread, fabric and wadding yes. inside. So these are purely just for holding, holding your bowl. And I, I don't quite understand why you want to put them in the microwave, because then when you bring it out... Oh, it might be hot, won't That's it? hot. Yeah. So, not sure on that one. So you've still got a hot hand. Yeah, that's and true. Not you. <laughs> no, not quite there not with that one. Not quite sure with that one, but anyway, so never mind. Up with us, we've got Janet. Good morning, you lovely ladies. Excited to watch this. Oh, yes. excellent. Uh, Anne, good morning. Shirley, good morning. Looking forward to this. Uh, Claire, Deb, Karen, good morning, everybody. I'm not quite saying hello because I can't see that far <laughs> over me. <laughs> oh, oh dear me. We've got Andrea. Good morning. You'll have to excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so I'll try my best with the with my yeah, talking. Yeah, Chloe has to run off yeah. and go and blow her nose. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have to. The joys of live TV. Absolutely. <laughs> you know. Oh, morning, Ruth. Right, are we all uh, are we ready to go, are do you reckon? ready to go, yes. We've got a few people with us, so let's get started. Okay, so in true Blue Peter style, Absolutely, yeah. we have our... Squares cut out, so we've got an 11 inch square, so say that makes this size of, of cozy to put your bowl in. So we've got an 11 inch square with a 10 inch piece of wadding. So if you're using iron on, we need to now just centre it and my lovely glamorous assistant here is going, to, iron. is going to iron, Yes. sorry, press, press, press our wadding onto our fabric. So remember, yeah. you've got it the wrong side facing you and your glue side is facing down. So we're just going to go ahead and press, press that. our yes, so I would, onto so our... This is the outer fabric yes. that we're starting with. Yeah. I would turn it over and just press with your iron. Don't do it directly onto the... the well, you, you see now I do. Oh, see, I do. Because it proper squashes it down. Oh, see, I, oh, it, it does on the other side for me, though. Oh, I, well. well, I found that recently. Right, so get that central. Yeah, so nice and central. <clears throat> Turn it over. I'll just try and get in shot. So I'll move that one out the way. If the iron will allow me to. And here we go. So if you're not using iron on wadding, then just pin yours centrally and just wait for uh, us to yes. have a little iron. <laughs> I hope I've got it well, the just, right way. Just, <laughs> not yeah, you better not have. <laughs> we're all doing it wrong. We're all right. We're all right. We're, we're ready. Yeah, we're set on. I'll just make sure it's proper. That's okay. On the... 
So have we all had a good morning so far? Oh, it's horrible here no. today, isn't it? Has anybody had snow? Well, it was a bit snowy on my way in. You know, sort yeah. of wet, wet Sweet. snow. I just silly wet that snow. Sound. But you know, that stuff that don't stick, but you could tell it weren't rain. Yeah. It's doing it now. Yeah. So hopefully we're going to brighten your morning. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Oh, Janet says you can use spray glue. You can if you're using wadding. Yeah, if you're using wadding, yeah, using yeah. Wadding, yeah absolutely. Absolutely, use spray glue. Yeah. I love that stuff. It's brilliant. Sorry, I'm just making But you, you don't, we are going to sew this, so it doesn't yeah. have to be I glued am, down, yeah. ironed I'm on. Done. And it doesn't matter because we are going so to look actually, yeah. Uh, look at that, nice and flat. Perfect. I'll just do that. Oh, no, that bit's all right there. Right. right. Do you want to do the next one? And then yeah. I can move on. So this is the lining piece. So do the same for your lining piece as so well. So just centre your wadding and iron it on if you are ironing it on. Or if you're not, then just follow us on for the next bit. So I'll do the next bit while Chloe's ironing my next piece. So what we want to do now is draw... No, I'll just move my piece out the way. We are just drawing two diagonal lines right from the corner, right to this corner, all the way across. I've got my yellow chalk pen. So from that corner to that corner, one big line all the way down. Let's give it a They're good. There. Yeah, and it, They're good, them chalk pencils. They are on, on, yeah, it really shows up it nice does. on the wadding. I mean, it's all, this is only for you to iron on. And same on the other corner. So we've got two, yeah, two diagonal lines down the centre. What's that one? How are we doing? Just press that corner. How are we all doing? Are we all... No, you expect to hear voices. I know, it's <laughs> weird, isn't it? I know. Okay, so we've got a nice big X marks the spot. X marks the spot, absolutely. There we go. Now then, at this point, if you wanted to keep your ball cosy, where are we, pointy, like this, then just skip this next step out. Have yeah. you say I've made a few? Pointy looks nice. Pointy's nice. Yeah. If you wanted to keep it pointy, then... <laughs> Don't do this next bit. Yeah. If you wanted more roundies, <laughs> roundy edges, Round edges, then do this next bit. So this one I did at a half inch, whereas this one I've done at a full inch. So you can see that's more curved. Yeah. So I quite like the full inch better, yeah, actually. Yeah, nice, So one. if you want rounded I'm going to say points. <laughs> Rounded, <laughs> Rounded edges. Yeah. Rounded edges, that's the one, yeah. We're going to do this bit next. So, on your corners here, you're just going to mark an inch in. And this, this little ruler oh, it's is brilliant. Is brilliant. Yeah. So, I've literally just got my one inch mark on the edge there. And I'm just going to mark an inch just straight across. Yeah. And everybody see that? Shall we hold that up to the camera? There we go. So we've done our X there. We've just marked an inch up and we've marked it. So I'm going to do that just on two corners. So I've literally just marked an inch down like that. Yeah. Just don't you only need to do it on two. Yeah. Because then I'm going to fold it in two. So I've got my two corners that I've marked here. Yeah. I'm just going to put a pin in. So just line your edges up there. I'm just going to stick a pin in. Now, if you were brave, you could do both pieces of fabric all at the same time. I'm not that brave. No. And it doesn't really matter if they're not precise. You know, come on, it's me that's doing this. <laughs> so, what are you talking about, Bad? <laughs> <laughs> precise. This is precise. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do now is get my bowl and just put it on that yellow line. So, if I put it there, I'm just going to draw. Okay. All right. Nice. Yeah. So at least, at least these two bits are going to be the same. <laughs> yeah. If not all four. How are we doing? Janet says I'm. I'm just watching, not making That's today. All That's right. fine. Sometimes it's better to watch through. Yes. Things. So you know what you're doing. Absolutely. So just draw around there. So I, I, you can use any. Obviously, the the bigger your 
curve that you yeah. draw around the, the bigger the curve the you're going, going to get. To be, yeah. If you wanted an even bigger curve, you could make it an one and a half, you yeah. could make it two. If you were making the bigger ones, especially, you could make the curve a lot yeah. deeper. Yeah. So that's all we're doing is making making the curve. So I'm literally drawing around the edge of my ball. Oh, Shirley says, I'm just watching too. Have to pop out soon and we'll make one on the catch up. So I do like the pink in shears. I'm literally just going to cut that curve off. Dawn says, just listening at work. We'll be trying later. Sneaky listen at work. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love it. Right. Okay, so... <laughs> I've not brought bin over, we're just going to have a pile of oh. junk there. So that's where we are on that one. And we're going to do the same on the other piece. So this is our lining piece. Well, it doesn't matter actually because you, they're both, you know. They're yeah, both they're both, it's reversible. And, so. Yeah. And I painted my nails especially last night and didn't really sort of, I just picked one that I liked and then thought this morning, I mean, look. You, you oh, you're matching, I know. Than that, can you? <laughs> And that just doesn't happen by chance. Obviously not. Obviously no. not. <laughs> Some things we do think about. So I'm going to do the same again. So a nice big X. Yeah. You can press on quite good as well with these pencils. Yeah, you can, can't you? I have got my sharpener ready. Just I know, I was saying this morning how, how small it's gone down because we keep sharpening it. <laughs> so same on there. Two big crosses. Yeah. Everything's so much more hard to work when you sat down. I know, it's it's funny, isn't it? You used to doing it all standing up. I love this idea. I do love bulk calls. I know, well, I'm going to have to make a few. I, I eat porridge quite a bit. And, yeah. and there's, it, it is, it's out because, well, you know, I my, if anybody gets, if I get in the microwave first, you have to wait <laughs> ages for me. Like, that, like 10 minutes. <laughs> I like my food nuclear. I don't know how a mouth is a burnt. <laughs> I don't know how you eat it. <laughs> Life, yeah. and then I eat it like about 10 seconds. <laughs> so I oh. seriously need bulk causes to hold my hot dishes. So again, I'm just gonna mark in an inch I'm just, just on line. a big line on the two sides. We are, yeah, these little one inch rulers are fab. And you'll see it, that is really handy when we come to a, a Ooh, stage later yeah. on. So I'm just going to fold it in two with my two marks, marks there. Yeah. Give it a pin. I'm just sort of like pin lady today, aren't pin, I? Pin, 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 pin and ironing pin lady. And ironing lady. I know. I hate it when you've got a coat because your head sort of gets a bit like full up, doesn't it? And it's just... Oh. And then draw around my ball again. Just put it on that yellow line. Yeah. And draw and just around. draw around it. I mean, you, when you put it on, actually, you, you've half got... Yeah, you've, you've sort only, of got it there. You've only got the yeah. little uh, corners to... Best way to make any curves is using a cup or a bowl oh, or anything God, like yeah, that. Oh, God, absolutely. No, I don't ever freehand it. I'm not very good at drawing. And I'm just going to cut them off. Yeah. I do like pink and shears. I was just going to say I love pink and shears, I yeah. pink and shears. I cut out all the time with pink and shears. Right. There we go. Okay. So, take our pins back out, hand them back yeah, over. Thank you very much. Tidy as we go along. Neat and tidy, tidy and neat, <laughs> just like Mr. Men. So, that's. Do you remember them? No, I remember Mr. Men, but I never heard no. that same Well, it's probably, they're probably old ones. It's, they're all fancy ones now, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they are. Right. Definitely. So, are we all up to here? If anybody's doing it, just let us know if you're up to this stage. Is anybody sewing along with us? Or are they all just coming and watching, watching for last? <laughs> <laughs> See what mischief we can yeah. get to. It's good to watch it first. Because yeah, it is. your brain sort of takes over, doesn't it? think, oh yeah, I know oh, what I'm doing. But yeah. then you think, oh, no, actually. And oh, you're, yeah, no. and it does, doesn't it? It yeah. really does. And then, you think you know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> One step ahead. One step ahead. And then you think, oh, I've got a bit left over. <laughs> Like when you're making your furniture, yeah, isn't it? And you yeah. always have three screws left oh, over. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. Oh, Tara says, hang on and then do it. Corners. All right, okay. cool. Oh, it's good to know someone's oh, doing it with excellent. us. Yeah. Can't wait to see what fancy fabrics have you got. Can you top 
Can you top these Please, for a fancy posh ball cozy? Very nice. This one's mine. Can't wait to see yours, <laughs> Karen. <laughs> I know we're all having one here at the shop. Yes. We'll all... I've uh... got a selection. Oh. Oh. Oh, we've got a bit of a fancy too. A fancy, yeah, fancy. Yeah. If anybody's got one of these, yeah. Why didn't we think to bring oh, one of them up? Curved corner tool. There you go. Needed in your stash. Definitely. Oh. It's a definite, it's a must. It have. is, isn't it? Yes. Didn't think of that one. I didn't either. It's got a one inch on it and a two inch, a yeah. three inch, and a is that two and a half. Two inch? and a half. Fabulous. There we oh, go. There you go. Somebody's on the ball this <laughs> morning, and it's not us. <laughs> Um, right. I'm just put, I'm following you, but wanted pointed corners. And Karen's put, okay. No problem. We're right. Away. Okay. So all we're going to do now is stitch our lines. Yes. The big X. The big X. Yeah. So make sure you have a good back, uh, back tack at the beginning and at the end. But yeah. we're just going to stitch our two crosses. I'll, I don't, can I, am I in there? Oh yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah, right. yeah. Don't look so close. <laughs> So um, if if you're quite new to sewing as well, don't start with your uh, foot here. Yeah, Put your edge. foot actually on the fabric and go back a little bit and forward a yeah. little bit. Because sometimes if you start too close, that's when it chews and it gets yeah. stuck and then you're in a whole host of trouble <laughs> there because you've got half your material start down your, down your yeah. top feed. Yeah. Uh, that's a whole host of trouble. So I'm going to start with it on and we're literally going to sew along our two crosses yeah i don't know if anybody no, else sews with no shoes on because i do i like to feel the pedal under my foot so i don't get that because oh. you drive but you drive with your shoes on so it's just well, like well i don't think you're probably not allowed to drive without <laughs> your shoes on are you oh that's, that's what size stitch uh, I use two and a half. So my machine is set at three and a half, two and a half. I always sew it to two and a half. Yeah. When I turn this on, it's at a two, two, but I always do it to two, two and, and a half. half. Yeah. Just what, whatever you feel comfortable with. So on our fancy dancing oh, machine. Oh, says, yes, I can't sew my shoes on. Oh, I just don't yeah. understand Well, it. I was trotting around this morning because obviously I only take my right shoe off to <laughs> sew with, but then that felt really strange <laughs> hobbling around. With one shoe on, one shoe so on. Then, so then I took my both shoes off and then Lucy says, oh, let's have a photograph. So then our photograph, oh my That's word. Big and small, isn't that it? That means even yeah. bigger and smaller than usual. Ruth asked, is that both pieces together? No, no, no one just... at a time. One Just one time. at a time. One's here, one's here. Yeah. One at a time. So off we go. Right, you'll have to chat now. Yeah. So I need okay, to concentrate. Need to concentrate. Have I stuck the wadding down enough? Is it all right? It'll be fine. Yeah. Good. Because we're sewing it as well, yeah. so it's uh, it's not too, it's not too bad, is it? So I'm literally sewing all the way along my cross, just on the one piece. It does bunch up a bit as well. I might just give this one another little press. Just while she's sewing that. See, that's why I sew it. I See, iron I it don't. actually on the top. I'm it, scared of burning my iron. Why are you going to burn your iron? I don't know. Why? I don't know. It proper flattens it all the poof out. The poof. <laughs> Do you know what wadding we're using today? Is it a... Um. Well, it's H from our stash. H H it? Yeah, it'll be HM640 <laughs> or H640. As you can imagine, Oh, it's curled up a bit there. We um we have lots of off cuts, don't yes, we, from all we our projects. Yes. And I tidied the little cubby all out before and we have got so much so many off cuts it's untrue. So yeah, it'll be H640 or HN 640, one of the two. Don't or you could so. just use proper wadding that's that's yeah. not stuck down. Just or if you were, if you were really fancy, you could use the um polyfirm. Yes, the polyphone, that will uh, keep the heat in, or whichever way you use it. If you use it with the silver side facing in, that will keep the heat in. If you use it facing outwards, it'll let the heat out. It won't keep the heat in. So that is another option. See, it's flat now. Look. Give it a really good price. That one's a bit, that one's a bit poofy. Come here. Yeah, this is iron. This is iron doing it again. <laughs> so I'm doing the same again on my other piece. So literally sewing from that corner to that corner, uh, back tack at the beginning and the, the end, and same down there. So you've got two big crosses. So you're just sewing on your two big crosses. It's a good job you can't see my face right now, actually. I might be like a boiled alive. <laughs> 
It might be cold outside, but it's certainly not in here. I know yours tend to heat up on the Oh, I know. I'm a, honestly, my face is roasting. Don't take an after warm. picture. Don't take an after <laughs> picture. <laughs> Look like I've been sunbathing in Bahamas. How's it going? Oh, we're all right. Are we all doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe it. Think about that curved corner too. I know. Well, Why would you think go. that? You know. Oh. Must have. Oh, look at my fancy nails under these lights. <laughs> oh, do you like a disco ball? <laughs> <laughs> it's unicorn powder if anyone's wondering. <laughs> That was that was priority number one last night was to go home and do Get nails. nails. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, never mind teens going out for a run. No, I don't need to do my nails. Right, so that's what we look like at the moment. You can see it better on that one. Yeah. So I went as well after doing these, thinking, oh yeah, these fabrics coordinate well. I'll use a cream thread, yeah. which, which is lovely on this yeah. side, but you can really see it on that it side. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but oh well. Hmm. So, so <laughs> I was a bit sneaky this time, and I coordinated my thread to my plane. Very good. Whereas the, it's, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. It's not done stand out quite it as looks much good on, on there. there. But sometimes if it skips a stitch where I can see it skipped yeah, one, it's skipped one there. It's skipped one there. You can just see it. Well, I don't understand. I don't, it's stitch. playing a bit, up a bit. Actually, oh, is it I not think. friends with us? No, it's not. Oh, Janet says your nails look great, Amanda. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so we put sewing all those pear shirts. At least my nails look yeah. lovely. <laughs> it's not good to go pear shirts. No, we're not going pear shirts. You're very good sewer. Right, are we all there. Yes. How are we all doing? Have we sewn our have, have, we, have we got two sewing along with us? Yes. Right. Are our two sewer along us up to where we're up to? Yeah. Yeah? Let us, well, they've not come back, but let us know <laughs> if you are. Before we move on, we don't yeah. want to go. Oh, Karen's oh, got yeah. thumbs up. Right. right. Okay. So, our next point, I'll just shove that out of the way. Babe. Oh, yeah. Claire's put thumbs up as well. So, our next thing is we are going to fold it in half. Yeah. So just match your match your corners there. Just, I'll just pass it then. Pins, would you? Thank you. So I'm just gonna pin. Right. Oh, we're back. Let's just wait for that to catch up. Jet keeps dipping in and out yeah. today. Not sure what's going on. It up because you don't like snow either. No. No. Watch this, somebody's watching this in July and they go, what are you talking about? <laughs> snow. <laughs> <laughs> it's February, yeah. it's snowing. Right, so what we've done, we've just folded it in half and I've just cut, put a couple of pins in the top there. Are we back yeah, on? and just put internet stops. Oh, I'm gone. Are we back on? So if somebody's, if anyone can hear us, please let us know. I think it's working on mine now. Are we back? Uh, yeah. We're, we're back, back on. Right, okay. Really? So I've taken one of my pieces and just folded it in two and just put a couple of pins there. So the next thing we're going to do is on our fold here, we are going to have a measure. And this is where this ruler is ace. So we want to measure in two inches across and one inch up. So this little oh, one inch ruler is out. Yeah. So what we're going to do is mark a two, uh, sorry, a one inch up. Yeah two inches in. in and you're just going to put a mark at that point yeah so if you can see can you i'll come a bit closer <laughs> so two inches in one inches one inches one, one inch, inch up. on the folded edge on your folded edge and this is the sort of the lining piece that yeah. we're using it, at the it minute. doesn't matter which doesn't piece matter. you use but we're yeah. doing they're doing two pieces separately so i've just got a mark at one inch up and two inches in and just join <laughs> Them together, yeah, because the next thing we're going to do is sew along that. Let's do line. that on both corners, both corners. Yeah. So we've got one inch up, two inches across, one inch up, two inches across. So you want to do that on both of those folded corners. Well, that's me rattling on me <laughs> on the table. So I'm just going to mark on that side and mark on that side and join them together. 
So I've got one inch up, two inches in, mark and then join and we're going to sew along that line. Are we all there? Yes, because we had a bit of a delay with okay, the Okay, so that's what we look like at the moment. So one inch up, two inches across, just mark on both sides and join and draw that line. So we've got two lines on our folded edge. edge. And you're just going to sew along that line. Well, along both of those lines. So this is just one piece at the moment. So you've just got one piece. You do both pieces separately. So again, in we go. Make sure you give it a good back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Love a good back stitch. Well, you'll certainly need one on the turning through bit because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a tussle. <laughs> Oh, that it says look like two by two, that. No, one one inch up, two inches this, across. This ruler measures... I, my ruler measures one inch, an inch. One inch up. One inch up. Two inches in. Two inches in. So it's one inch up, two inches in. Because I have my ruler measures that. Oh, that's look perfect. <laughs> Hook it up. It, well, to be honest, as long as your measure is, is all the same on yeah. all your four bits, well, when we come to do it, because yeah. we are going to do it four times, yeah. uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. As long as it's yeah. all the same measurement for each one, yeah. that's fine. I'm going to say now, does my ruler measure an inch? Yeah, it's an inch. It's an inch by six, yeah. it's, it's an inch yeah. six, it's <laughs> six and a half, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so this ruler does measure an inch. So an inch up, two inches in. Yeah, again, great to have you in yeah, your stash. Yeah, I love that little ruler. Yeah. So I'm just sewing along, back stitching at the beginning and at the end. Two inches in. Two in. inches in, one inch is up. Okay, so that's what we look like at the moment. We've got those two lines stitched okay so we are going to trim our corner off leave a little seam allowance i obviously i've not measured that i've just cut it <laughs> but you know a nice little seam allowance yeah and we're going to do the same again so take your pins out so you're going to fold it the other way this time. So again, fold it in half. So you've got your one you've just stitched down the middle there. Eh? And we're Ooh, going to fold to it. Take shape. Going to fold it that way and do the same thing. So this is what we look like at the moment. That's what we've just stitched. Our two corners. We're going to turn it that way. So you've got your stitch line running top to bottom. And we're going to fold it in two again. So just Match all those up, match it there, and stick a pin in that bit. Dawn says, love the wing it approach to cutting. <laughs> That's just an and <laughs> Just wing it, we'll just cut there, yeah, see what happens. See what happens. So again, just make sure you've got a nice, um, nice fold, just give it a bit of a crease. Make sure you've not got anything tucked, sit your finger down, make sure you've not got it tucked in. Just give it a bit of a press. So I'm going to do the same again at this point. So again, on our fold with my one inch ruler. <laughs> I, know, I know we sell, we sell these. I know they're one and a half. Sorry, one by six and a half. Jeez, somebody just puts an idea in ready. Yeah, you just I know have to question it, don't you? Right, so again, same thing. Mark at one inch up, two inches across. Join. Pencil's going to break in I know. now. I can <laughs> feel it. And same on the other side. I've just flipped it over. It's just easy to flip it over. So on that one there, we've got one inch up and two inches across. This is why I have my sweatband on all the time, because I can't be doing my braces dangling. dangling. Yeah. Why have you not got it on? It's not a sweatband. <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's a, a it's bracelet a, holder. It is a bracelet holder, not a sweaty sweatband. <laughs> Could I have the ruler? 
pencil, please. You want pencil? Oh, are you going to do that? I've, I've done the other one. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, so, oh, yeah. My assistant. You can check it if you like. Yes. <laughs> so, again, we're just going to sew back tight, start at the beginning, and at the end, we're just going to sew along that line. Okay, put it on. And off we go again. These are so like quick and easy to make yes they are i i decided this morning when i got here oh i just need one more practice and i whipped it up in in half an hour from cutting it out and everything that's brilliant we sacked off the herbal tea this morning and i was straightening on the coffee <laughs> <laughs> just just in case i just, need to go yeah and i've had a, a cup of tea as well so it's uh yeah we're firing on all cylinders this morning <laughs> brilliant so you can check them if you'd like. No, I'm just, all right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I might, just in case. Oh, Claire's got try to keep up, but commentary is cutting out. Oh, no. So, I think that could be the internet, since it's <laughs> soon gone. As it's, yeah, as soon as we're not in sunny Barbados, yeah. you know, we're in snowy Chorley. So we've, we've measured two inch in and one inch up, and we've drawn a line, and we've sewn down that line. And trimmed. Trimmed off the corners. Yeah, try refreshing, Claire. As I said, yeah. As we know, the internet isn't always reliable. No. It's nice when it works, yes. isn't it? When it yeah. Can... It's just the snow. It doesn't like the snow. Yeah. Or whatever we're calling this. So, that's what we look like at the moment. It's a bit like a flower, doesn't it? But, you know. Would you like to measure them? Uh, just, well, double well, check. just double check. Yes, you know, it's always good. Uh, measure twice, cut once, <laughs> as we know. Measure 17 times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are we that way around? So we've gone up, up one, along two. Yeah. Drawn our line, drawn our line to um, connect them together, and that's where we're going to sew along. So we're going to do exactly the same thing on this piece. So fold it in two, you've gone up one inch, across two inches, connected them together, and we're going to sew along that line and same on that side for the moment. Yeah. So we're doing the exact same. Exact same thing. As we've done for this piece. On the other piece. Yeah. Oh, I love this fabric as well. It's so lovely. Oh, Seriously, look, we're not going to run out of thread here because you'll be in trouble if we do because you told me I'd had enough. You look like you've had enough. It were half, like more than half a bobbin. We can't be doing with uh, uh, bobbins <laughs> live on earth. I, I think. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. You've got loads there. Yeah. You're all right. So, Claire, once you've done your first piece, do your second piece. Exactly the exactly same. Exactly the same. Wrong button, too many buttons. Okay, <laughs> so again, if you want to measure, please <laughs> feel free. Measure. If not, just cut it off. <laughs> oh, 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 what's happened? This scissors, scissors have got stuck. This scissors have got stuck. <laughs> oh, not liking that piece, not, is it? it? No. Oh, use, me, use me muscles. Yeah, use that use back muscles. Force. <laughs> Bit of brute force, never did anybody any harm, did it? Just cut those corners off, that's it. Take your pins out. Take your pins out. And do the same again. So that's our fold at the moment going that way. And we're just going to fold it into that way and do the same again. So just pin your corners. It's hard work doing things in mid air as well. Yeah, isn't I it? know. Pin your corners. Floating. Just make sure you, you've, uh, you're nice and flat in, in, the, in your fold bit. Just give it a press and mark again. One inch up, two inches in. across. So it's proper easy. We like easy. Yeah. Join them together. Try not to stick my head in camera as well. You're all right. <laughs> And same on the other side. Yeah, I feel like they look like big flowers almost. Like yeah, that they one do, looks yeah. like a big flower. 
you can like like make a make a set and have more sitting them inside each other. See, my, my two boys eat never eat at the table. They <laughs> eat upstairs all the time. So I can imagine they'll be like, oh, oh can I have one of them things? Can I have one, one of them things? things? And I dread to think that'll just be one washing every two minutes because oh, they no. won't be the, um, the, the tidiest. tidiest of people, yeah. will they? They'll be <laughs> slopping all sorts down. Yeah, they nuke everything. Right, so again, we're just stitching on that line. Yes. It could be like, because they laugh at me, it's like, oh, what are you doing now? But then when they see what I've made, it will be like, oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Don't want one of them purpley ones. <laughs> A day to give me a purple <laughs> one for Christmas. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. I could, I could make one out of Thomas the Tank Fabric. <laughs> <laughs> Get what you're given. Oh, yeah, dogs, as they would also make lovely bowls for putting keys in our other bits. Oh, yeah, yeah, by yeah. your front door. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, perfect. And, yeah. You could even, um, I suppose you could put some bowls in it. Could yeah, you could, yeah. It, I mean, or it keeps it shaped. It does keep it shaped because it's got, obviously, two mm. layers of um, wadding. Yeah. It does, if they do keep the shape really well. Yeah. Oh, keys by the keys. door. Keys, didn't think about that. Well, just general tubs, you know, yeah. for all this. Different style sort of, of junk, junk as well, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> All your nail varnishes. All your nail polishes, yeah. <laughs> you could make smaller, oh, we now, you see, there now we're go. all that, are <laughs> So you could make smaller ones for say your cotton, yeah. cotton buds, uh, oh, yeah. cotton balls. I mean, I have the the little toweling bamboo yeah. face pad things <gasps> present. Oh. So you could make some of them and fill them with things. Oh, we're on Christmas presents already. Uh, Dogs, is the wadding for the heat proofing then? So this wadding isn't actually uh, heat proofing. No, it it does. It makes it stand up for yes. one, makes it so it's sturdy. Yeah, and obviously it it uh, you can you can use the heat thermal. Yes, the proper silver. thermal. Yeah, the silver. But for heat you proofing, you don't need to because you're only just trying to keep your hands from not being burnt after you've yeah. nuked your porridge in the microwave. So it it so, just. Well, yeah, it's just it's a bit it's of just to give it. For your hand. Yeah. If you just made it with two pieces of fabric, then they'd just flop. Yes, everywhere, it wouldn't keep it. It shape. Keep it shape. Yeah. So it's more for just shape, really yeah. sturdiness, isn't it? Yeah. Like I say, you can use the heat, the the heat um, wadding yeah. to keep the heat in the polytherm. The polytherm. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. To keep the heat in, uh, that would work. You could use two layers. You could use yeah. one layer. Yeah. Uh, we're just using this for the, today. The two, yeah, the two yeah. layers just yeah makes it keep it shape. But please remember, these are not for putting in, in the, the microwave. microwave. They yes. are just for keeping your hands from so, being burnt. Dan says so fair interfacing would work too. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, could use. Was, yeah. You could probably use one piece of basil. On one side, yeah, and that would probably that because Borsal keeps its shape Borsal really keeps well. Shape, yeah, yeah, so you could try that. It's it's for keeping it shape. Yeah, basically, yeah, but it's also with this one, it's also squishy as well. Squishy, so you can wash it and and it. Yes, you know, you've got to remember that you're going to be obviously be washing them because yes. everybody that uses them will be dribbling. Yes, you know? so our giants put our man bowl for next to the bed, <laughs> back to the bowl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, for all the, oh, the stuff. I've come on thready. Oh, no. Say. Oh, well, can you, um, can you snip my corners I can for me? I just read the corners. Absolutely. Oh, they're heavy, these scissors, aren't they? I know they are very sturdy, aren't they? Excuse me, just a second. I don't know how to use what's it either. I'm, I just do it. Oh, I can't. Old I'd, fashioned oh, way. I don't know how to use the threader. I don't yeah. use threaders. No, I don't. I'm not up to that stage yet in my life where I need my threader. No, I can still... <laughs> I can still see. I can still see my, <laughs> my, my needle. Right, just let me check that... Uh, I'll just get my scrap. So it's, it's been practised on. I'll just check and I'm, I'm all right. There we go. So there we go. We've got... Oh, let me unpin it. We've got... Two pieces oh, now. Oh, yeah, we're on. Yeah, two pieces that look like little flowers. <laughs> Are we all here? 
Oh, Giles has found Shane has an auto thread. Love it. Yeah, wow. Well, so this, That's amazing. But we don't have to use No, I don't have to use it. I don't have to I use it. I don't even know how to use a one on my own <laughs> no, machine. I don't. I just rather just, just, just sit, you sit there finger, for 10 hours. If you put your finger behind it, yeah. sure that's what I do, yeah. Whole thing <laughs> right, anyway, we're back on track. So, I am just going to, uh, where are we? Turn one the right way around. Yes. So it's like when you make a bag, isn't it? Yes. You're gonna so, put your outer. Doesn't matter into which way. Lining. As long as you turn one of them the correct way around, just give it a poke out. So you've got one still inside out and one the correct way around. Doesn't matter which one you choose, just turn yeah. one the correct way. Because it's reversible, so yeah. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. We're watching it on, yeah. on thingy and we're, we're uh, it's a bit, bit behind. behind, isn't it? So you're going to put one inside the other now and just match up your seams. Now, if you want to nest them, if you're yeah, a quilty, you'll know. You're nesting your seams. If you're quilty, you'll know what She's you mean. Learning. And basically all that means is you're going to send one seam one way and the other seam the other way. So when they come together, you, you'll be able to feel that they sort it of just butt butts. together. Yeah. Next to each so other. I would send them all the same way. So my outer fabric, you know, send them all one way, whichever one way that may be. Yeah. I think because I'm, I'm going to send my outer fabric to the right because that's the one that's going to be on the bottom of the machine. Yes, yeah, so it'll be flat. So that when I'm sewing, it's going to come that way. Yeah. So it's flat and it's not fighting against the way it's going. Yeah. So the one that's on the outside, I'm going to send the outside seam to the right and the inside seam to the left. Yeah. And I'm just going to put them together and say, so you can you can just feel that they stop, don't they? <laughs> All right. It's all right, you have a choke, it's <coughs> fine, I'll keep chatting. Sorry. So I'm just going to do that on all my four <coughs> seams. So again, I'm sending my outer fabric to the right and my inner fabric to the left and you'll feel that they just <gasps> butt up together. <coughs> it's all right, Chloe's just going for a cough, bless her. So my outer fabric is going to the right and my inner fabric seam is going to the left. And so when you feel, they, they just stop. So I'm just going to put a pin in them on all four. So outer seam to the right, inner seam to the left. Put a pin. And then if you want to pin here, you can do as well. Just match your tops. Give that a shove down. It's very technical. Just pin your curves there. And there. Where are we? Running out of pins. And on that one. And on that one. Okay, so we've turned one of our cozies the right way around and put them together. So they are together, right sides together, sitting inside each other. I've nested my seams, which basically means I've sent one seam going one way and the other seam going the other way. I've sent my outside seam to the right. So I might just pin that one again. Then when I'm on the machine, it's not fighting against the way the, that I am sewing. So I've set my outside seam to the right and my inside seam to the left and just butted them up together. So I've done that on all my four joins and then I've just pinned my tops together too. So now we're going to go ahead and stitch all the way around. Now we need to leave a gap and you need to leave quite a big gap because the smaller your bowl, Obviously, the less gap we're going to have in between our uh, points there to actually turn it through. But don't leave a weenie gap like that or else you'll never get it through in a million years. You need quite a decent gap to actually turn it through. So if you want to put a mark on to remind you 
to, to stop when you come to this point, please do so. So you could just put a, a line there to remind you not to stitch that past that point. So I'm going to start all the way over here. And again, when I come, so I, I'm going to use the width of my foot now. I like, I like the width of my foot when I sew. So I'm just going to put the edge of my foot on, on the edge here and just stitch along. We're going all the way around. I'm going to start here, going all the way around and come back and stop at that line that I just marked there just to remind me to stop. When you come to a join, so when you come to one of your points that you've stitched your, your lines on, I'm just going to pivot a little bit. You'll see when you come to it that you do need to just pivot a tab and just take it nice and easy round your corners. So that's where we're up to. So I've pinned all my joins together there. I've pinned my tops together here. I've marked a point where I'm going to stop sewing and I'm going to start over here and stitch all the way around just using the width of my foot. If you want to do a quarter inch seam, please go ahead. I personally don't like a quarter inch seam. I think it's a bit too, too donkey on the edge for me that you might just miss a bit. And if you've not just cut the two pieces of fabric together, then you, you, you know, it's coming undone. So it's a bit, mm, no, quarter inch seam's not for me. So I'm gonna start here, go all the way around and stop when I get back to that point there. I'm back, I'm so back. sorry That's about all right. that. That's okay. <clears throat> the, the loveliness of having the cold. <laughs> So sorry. How are we doing? Well, Where are we up right. to? Yeah, we're up to. So when I come to this first uh, join line here where we've done our diagonal, you'd say you will need to just, just stop at that point and pivot a little bit. You'll see when you're sewing it. Make sure you give a good front and uh, back and... Oh, I can't even think what I'm saying. <laughs> a good back, good stitch, back stitch at the beginning <laughs> and at the end because you... you yeah, it probably needs a proper good yank through that turning hole. So as I come to that point where I'm meeting my cross, you just do need to just pivot a tab to be able to, to come, come round. Yeah. And I say I'm just using the width of my foot, but you use whatever seam allowance you like. Just be nice and gentle round the corners. Take your time as you can hear, I'm not going fast at all. Nice and gentle round the corners. I actually think it's easier to sew round this corner than it is round the point. Yeah, sometimes curves can be a little bit easier to... To manoeuvre round. Yeah. I'm just going to make sure it's all nice and flat. And, oh, see, I've cut... Oops, there we are. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just going to cut that off because I can see that that's caught on that side. It's not... Not pin that proper on that serves me right for not putting too many pins. You could in. um glue pen. Use a glue pen then bits down. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah, I'm, just gonna put, yeah. I'm gonna put a few more pins in. This is why we put extra pins in. <laughs> Your pinning lady wasn't here, I'm so maybe sorry. Yes, maybe yes. I was <laughs> deserted. I was deserted. So we put a few more pins in before you set off. <laughs> and that's why I don't do a quarter inch seam allowance. <laughs> Just in case things move. Right, where am I? Let me get back to where I was. So luckily I caught that in time. I'm just gonna go back back along a bit and carry on. Yeah. That, yeah, quarter inch seam allowance. No, you're alright, thanks. I mean I have made quilts, but mm, it's a bit all too precise for me. Right, set off again. Make sure <laughs> make sure you catch both both parts of your fabric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh, Amanda. <laughs> I'll be setting off again. Well, as long as you don't choke live on it, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Always happens on live, doesn't it? <laughs> I've been all right this morning. You have. Going nice and slow. When I come to the bit where I, I've gone Oh, my words aren't coming out now. Where, I'm, where I've stitched up my middle, I'm just going to pivot a tab and as I say, make sure you're catching both bits of your fabric. Nice and slow around the corner. And stop, take that pin out. Nice and slow. She says, nice and slow around the corner. 
I, I can't talk and concentrate. It's like when I'm at gym and me and Mary are counting and we have to count on fingers because we're too busy to talking to each other. It's like, how many have you done? I don't know. I thought you were counting. Oh, well, I thought you were counting. <laughs> and then we end up doing about 25 reps because nobody's counting. Yeah, it's hard work to chat and concentrate all at the same time. Stop there, take that pin out, have a little pivot. Take that one out. Don't sew over your pins, because you might snap your needle. Or I've stitched over, you know the, the Millwood ones, the, the flowery plastic ones, I've gone through the plastic before now. Not brought my needle, but then I've got a pin stuck in and I can't get it back out and I have to cut, cut my thread and start again. So I to learn don't sew over your pins. Side. Take it nice round the corner. This is where a needle down machine is just ace. One less step you have to think about. Are we all keeping up? My points again, take that one out, give it a little pivot. Stop, take that one out. I'm nearly coming back round to my mic there. Nice, good, strong back tack at that point that you've marked in your opening. Right, I am just going to go and double check, make sure I have caught everything. Yep. Right, okay, so now then, I'm just going to give, because we're on a curve, I'm just going to give them a little snip. So you just want to use tiny little scissors and just give them a little snip in. Be very, very careful not to catch your thread but this will just help the corners when you're turning it through. Just give it a snip all the way around. And especially in that corner where your uh, crosses meet. So I'm just gonna give it a little snip just to help us because we've got curved edges. I mean, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and cut a bit more out so you've got less of a seam allowance. I don't think I'm that brave, but you could do if you wanted to, but I'm just going to snip in with these tiny little floral scissors. These are ace and proper sharp. As you can see, some seam allowances are a tad bigger than others, but you, you know me, never mind. It'll be right. And give it a snip. My glamorous assistant still not come back. She's leaving me to fend for myself. Bless her, she's not been well all week. Let's give that a snip. Snip, snip, snip. And we're nearly done. Nice and easy. Right, just take that last pin out here. I'll just see if I can read some comments over there. I might just need to scoot under the camera. Oh, I wish one that's a bit far away. Oh, thanks, Anne. She says, thanks, Amanda. Easy to follow your instructions. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, yeah, somebody's... Where I, is that Dominica? Oh, that's my can't see now. I need, I'm a bit far away. Uh, she's got an auto thread. Yeah, well, so do we. But I don't know how to use it. I'll just, I'll just, I'm, I can still see enough that, so that I can actually thread it with me, with me hand and my eyes. <laughs> so that'll do for me. Right. So we've snipped all the way around. Take all your pins out, and now for the moment of truth. So we might be here a while, because <laughs> it depends. 
how good you are at pulling this through. So you want to find your opening and I stick my fingers down as far as I can to grab as much as I can to get through that little hole. So this is where a bit of brute strength is needed. So we need to turn it through, through that hole. If you have got some of these, you can use these too. I'm gonna just yank it through first of all and see how I get without, if I can get my fingers in. So the bigger ball cozy you make, the easier it is, because you've obviously got more of a side that you can leave a gap. The smaller the one, the tougher it is, because you've not got as much gap to leave. Oh, this is coming through quite nicely, actually. It's not too bad. So let's just yank it through. It's a very technical term, that. Let's give it a yank. Here we go. Just chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> Might be here a while. Let's give it a pull. This is why you need a good back stitch at the beginning, at the end, when you're going through. The, I mean, if it does rip, you, you, you know, where, you, where you've started or stopped, it doesn't matter. We can easily just uh, fix that up on the next part. But let's just give it a pull. There we are. And then you get to a point where it just it just comes all of a sudden. Let's carry on. Let's give it a good tug. See how well Chloe's uh, ironing this in now. Get your fingers in. Get your tools out. Need the big guns out now. Give it a pull. So the more you can get through at the beginning, the easier it is. These are ace. Something nearly there. She says. Just chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> oh, I hope you're having better, uh, a better time than me. Oh, there we are. That's a nice big bit. Oh, definitely getting a sweat on now. Oh, goodness. Tussle, tussle, tussle. Let's give it a shove. So there's nothing worse and then you turn it through and you realise you've not caught it all the way around and you have to shove it back through again and stitch it back up. How many times have, have you done things like that? That's my classic move, that. There we go. Da, da, da. And then it just happens all of a sudden. There we are. Let's give it a bit of a shake. And now we want to point all your corners out. So again, stick your fingers in. Use your uh, seam gauge pointy tool if you need to. Pair of knitting needles just to poke your corners out. That's it. it. That's why if you clip your corners, it just helps again to make your seams look a bit neater. I'm going to stick, where's my hole gone now? There we are. Stick it in there. Push that one out. And again, you make all your Caught on the line. There we go. How fancy does that look? So you can give it a little press now. You can give him a bit of a roll as well. Sometimes that helps. Right. So that's what we should be looking like at the moment. Da -da -da. So if my glamorous assistant was here, she'd be giving this an iron for me, but my iron's over there and I don't want to creep underneath just to give it an iron. But uh, please, whilst you're sat at home, please go ahead and just give this a little press. I'll press mine at the end. 
So all we need to do now is top stitch it. So you're going to find it where your gap is and just fold your material in along that seam allowance. So yours will look a bit neater because you've gone and ironed yours. Just put a pin in, in there. And now we're going to top stitch all the way around. Now again, if you're, you know, nice and neat and you know what you're doing, you can do a proper tiny weenie eighth, you know, top stitch all the way around. I don't think I'm that brave. <laughs> I think I might just put a few more pins in. So I'm going to turn my gold, hopefully, just down a little bit so I don't catch the gold on the on the outside so I'll turn my lining down a little bit and put some pins in there all the way around there and there And now we're going to top stitch. So I am going to make my stitch a little bit longer. I think I'm going to go to a three and a half now. So I'm going to whip it up to a three and a half. And if you wanted to, you could still position your foot along the edge so you can keep a nice distance from the edge. But if you move, let me just get rid of that stray thread there. If you move your foot sorry, your sewing bit in. So if you change your stitch width, so it's a little, so you're moving your needle across, then obviously you can still keep, if you put your fabric here, you can still keep a nice uh, straight, hopefully, straight-ish stitch. So you're keeping your foot against the edge of the fabric here, but you've moved your needle across, so you'll automatically get a need to one you know on the edge but if you've got a, a quarter inch foot or some people have an eighth inch foot then you just want to catch that to keep it from rolling inwards so i think i'm going to move my stitch across a bit as well um i think we'll go for a, let's go for a four and a half now i need to put mine in and just do a few stitches because i know it doesn't move until you start stitching again so i have made my stitch length three and a half and I've moved my foot across a little bit so I can keep the edge of my sewing machine foot on the edge of my fabric there and I will stitch along here it doesn't matter if you want to start where you left your turning gap it doesn't matter just pick a pick a spot and we're just going to top stitch and I'm going to top stitch on this outside because I always think that that looks a bit neater so I'm going to put my foot down on the edge keeping my edge of my fabric there I've moved my needle across and you're just going to go around and top stitch so off we go needle in again little back stitch at the beginning and we're just going to top stitch around the edge just be careful again when you get to the when you come to the cross points, again, I'm just going to pivot and we're just top stitching around the edge to keep it all in place. Again, nice and slowly around the corners. Nice and slowly around the corners. And we're nearly finished. Can't wait to see them. You'll thank me Sunday morning when you're having your porridge in bed and you've not got burning hands. Or we'll be having them at dinner time now. We'll be we'll be nuking I'll be nuking my bolognese and having it in the posh bowl cosy. We'll get some pictures out of us all having our dinner with our bowl cosies. Corner. 
pivot and back cross. Who's joining us for the material girls today? 12 o'clock, it's a quick, quick change in here. Tidy all my stuff away. Ready for material girls in just less than an hour. Let's hope Chloe's recovered for that or else it'll be me and Heather. She's still coughing, bless her. Have another little pivot when you come to the corner there. It's got a bit of a lumpy bit, that one. Let's give it a shove. My needle sounds so happy actually. Let's see, I've been playing up this machine. We need probably need a new needle in. And we're coming back to the beginning where we are, so again, back stitch. It does get some hammer, bless it. And there we go, just cut your cut your threads. Snip your threads. Give it a nice good iron. I will give it an iron and then, we'll, then I'll show you what it looks like properly. And there we go. Ready for dinner. Where's my bowl? Ready for my bolognese that gets nuked for five minutes because I like my dinner roasting. There we are. A posh bowl for a posh bird. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed following along. If you're uh, going to make some later on, make sure you post them on the socials. Can't wait to see them all. Oh, she's back. back you're you're back just to say ta ra. <laughs> yes. I don't know how much long I could talk for, to be honest. It's all right, I kept us going, don't worry. She did very well, Amanda. <laughs> so, thank you very much yes, for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.